Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show, home improvement and maintenance tips from the pros. Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show Action Edition, where we feature an actionable tip that you can use today. And I'm here with my old buddy, Larry. Larry, what have you been doing lately? So the, part of this tip, that we're, <laughs> we're calling this tip the door trimming tool. And um, I was uh, cruising down the aisle of the, well, actually it came up in my feed. I don't know how Home Depot does this, but they were like reading my mind. I had a, I have a, had a job this week that involved um, installing some doors and it was many, many doors. And I've done a lot of work with this customer installing doors. Don't ask. It's a long story. Anyway, like 25 doors, a um, lot of doors. <clears throat> commercial. Well, commercial. I've been over there with you to. Yeah, yeah. I'll, commercial I'll establishment. Anyway, yeah. very, very, very cool thing. Well, they, they, the, the customer had their bathrooms redone, and so of course they raised the tile up, so some of the doors started sticking. And I was actually, I know how to do this kind of stuff. We've done it a long time, you know, about trimming down a door to make it unstick. But I was like, one day I was in, in. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Home Depot because it's the only place that sells Ryobi. But I'm, I'm looking at this thing, and here is this, this tool that you attach to your drill that has a handle on it and it has like a long router bit and it's designed for trimming your doors and it's called the Ryobi door trimmer and um we've looked and tried to see if anybody else is making anything like this and i mean i i searched the internet couldn't find anything so i'm gonna it's the only reason why i'm using the name this is a somewhat unique thing this particular item and there's lots of ways to trim doors folks i understand that there's there's many many different ways um but i we wanted to throw out a quick you know tool review on this particular product now with that said i'm going to say if you're going to take a quarter of an inch off the door or more use a saw because you 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 can do that. But what I'm talking about is if you need just to shave a little bit off the door, I bought this thing. It was a little less than $20, right? And for me, if I'm looking at a tool for 20 bucks, I'm doing the cost equation in my head. I'm like, well, that needs to save me about a half an hour, right? And in this particular job, I had three doors to do that were all sticking. I knew it because I knew it in advance. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to buy this thing. We're going to find out if it works, right, John? And I think I called you and told you, and you didn't even know it existed, right? Yeah, no, I, I didn't know it existed because, you know, usually usually you're right. Um, you know, I have, um, you know, cut doors down with uh, with a saw if it's if it's a if it's a big cut. A lot of times, folks, you know, if the, for the homeowners or anybody out there, uh, you know, you might have you know your 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 floors might, you know, have moved over over the time. Some of you folks live in a lot older homes than than we do. And, you know, it's a lot of things can get uneven over the time. And, you know, you open up a door and it opens up, you know, three quarters of a way. And then, you know, the edge of the door starts to hit the floor. Yep. Or it catches um, or it catches a little tile yeah. or any number of them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, what Larry's describing here is a great way of kind of a. um you know, a, an easy way to to resolve that. And for twenty bucks, when when Larry was telling me, I was like, "Well, the hell, you know, try it out." I mean, twenty bucks—that's great for you know a homeowner that's got the occasional door to do. It keeps you out of trouble without you know having a you know to get out the saw and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and, um, and so so yeah. I want to describe this thing. This is a U-shaped piece. We'll put some pictures on the website, um, but this is a U-shaped piece, and it has a very long, basically, a t I'm going to call it a router bit. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's got a it's got a cutting edge that that runs in a in a circle, and you you ba you place it right on top of the door or the bottom of the door, or wherever you happen to be shaving. You can if if it's a door that's sticking on the sides, like if you're if you close the door and it catches on the side of the trim or something, you you don't even have to take the door off the off the uh, the hinge you know you can do it right in place and shave off pieces of this thing but it's this u-shaped thing and it's and out of it comes this um large uh, spindle and you put your cordless drill or it um, doesn't have to be cordless but you put your drill on you tighten the chuck right on this thing and you operate part of it with your hand one hand goes on top of this and the other thing goes on the trigger to the drill and you just run it down the door and it takes off i'm going to say maybe an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch it's not very much it doesn't take off a large amount which is why i say if you're going to cut a quarter of an inch or more off just use the saw it'll be a lot faster because you could do it this way but it would take you forever you know it'd just take you forever but if you're just doing some minor trims, wow, I was really impressed at how well it worked. It was really, really nice. Almost impossible to screw your door up. That, that's that's the key point I, yeah. I wanted to make. That's a great way to put it, um, you know, just to to, uh, to to proof this thing um, that you can not screw up that job. And that's what I was getting at for the, for the average homeowners out there that don't want to go through, you know, uh, 
putting a saw to the bottom of your door. And I know sometimes that can be a, you know, a, a little bit of consternation. Stress. You know, if you don't, if you, if, you, if you don't do it, if you don't do it very often, you know, but this thing will keep you out of trouble. And yeah. for 20 bucks, you know, and if you've got a couple of doors, man. It's it's well worth it. Yeah. Beautiful. So just to fill you in on the rest of the information. So the other ways that you can do it is you can buy a true planer, you know, a true either a hand plane or a, a power planer. But you're going to spend a, for a good hand, even a good hand plane. It's more than twenty dollars for a good one, you know, and, and but and then it's manual and you got to do it. And a power planer, you can screw the bottom of the door up really quickly with a power planer. And that's going to be probably a hundred bucks, I'd say, anyway, if you bought a power planer. And then what are the other ways you can do it? The saw, which is what we've used plenty of times. Mm. Um, and then and then this trim tool. So there's lots of ways to do it. Obviously, you can use a sand. You can sand it with sandpaper and or, a, um, uh, you know, like a belt sander or a vibrating sander. But that that is tough to get it actually really nice and smooth. This thing makes it nice and square. I mean, but it's nice and square. It, it, see, now that's so. So right there is is the is the point. Of, of not screwing things up right because when you're using a sander and but believe me folks you know but you know we if you're living in that room and you look at the underside of that door all the time and you're and you start to see that door is like uneven where it's wavy where you sanded it weird and you know or did some other things it's gonna be like yeah that's that no nah, that doesn't look good <laughs> john you spend way yeah. too much time looking at your doors I'm just saying. Oh, uh, man, I'm telling you. I, I'm detailed. I'm looking at everything in my house. I'm like, oh, man, I can't believe the guy did that. But, you know, it's like, eh, all right. So so that's that's my review. It's it's a, it's a, it's a tool that for a low amount of money, in particular, as John said it, if you have more than one door, I think it's worthwhile to use. Um, you know, like anything, you, there's other ways to do it, and there's, there's ways that for – that are that might be more economical and, and there's ways it'll do a better job i'm not going to say there's not but they require a lot more finesse and um so anyway with that this is the Ryobi the ryobi door trimmer and again i rarely give names i look i did look for other options and there aren't there's there's really nothing that's quite unique like this one so we really we really really did like that it is so Hey John, so, don't we have a contest? Do we have a contest? Coming? We have a contest, man. We have a contest. Um, you know, if you've been listening uh, on on unique builds, one offs, um, we talked about it. Uh, you know, in some of the other the other programs. Um, lots and, of lots know, we, of good. We use our we use our show swag. Yeah, lots of radio yeah, show. We use, you know, good stuff up 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 you know, out we, there for grabs. We used our we used our. Uh, Example of the the pizza build, or you know, people have built zip lines. People have built some very unique, you know. I mean, I've I've seen some 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 really interesting uh, builds out there that's been very creative yep. on all kinds of things. Whether they might be a, some wild staircase things, or I mean, I don't know. It you just just you know, it's not like. Well, we've used the example before of putting up a bunch of studs to make a wall. It's right. not that, you know. It's it's uh, really a what. what what I would say is a one-off. Can't win um, if you don't enter. That's what we're going to yep. say. Can't win That's if you right. don't enter. And you got to send in your pictures. We're going to try to do this as a yearly thing. But at this point, anything that you've you, you have done in the last five years, you know, uh, contractors, handymen, homeowners, you know, send it in to us. And uh, let's take a look at it, and we'll invite you on the show if you'd like to be on the show as well, if, yep. uh, you know, to win this thing. Yep. So, HandymanProsRadioShow at gmail.com is where we'll take those application so handyman pros radio show at gmail.com we hadn't even specified how many winners we're going to have so we're just going to wait and kind of play that one by ear because it makes the decision process easier if you really want to know the truth yeah if we because come, we're running it too yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be the king it's good to be the king it's good to be the king all right folks if you have any questions comments or concerns send us an email questions at handyman pros radio show.com we do have a website again it's handyman pros radio show.com we do have a newsletter please subscribe to that while you're there lots of great information on maintenance upcoming shows events and more uh join our facebook group at handyman pros or follow us on twitter at handyman radio thanks for listening we'll see you next week on the handyman pros radio show 